You may not know, but the original uh, Bramley apple tree yet exists and it's producing uh, some crop, although it is old. Okay, this is the South Well, um, the town in the uh, Middle England where the original uh, Bramley apple tree, a cooking apple, uh, was found and uh, propagated from there. So it was grown from a peep by a young lady, Mary Ann uh, Brizzleford or something like that. Between 1809 and 1815, uh, it was thought it came from an apple grown on a tree at the bottom of a garden, now number 75. That's a house number. One seedling produced very fine apples in 1837, when the new occupier was Mr. Matthew Bramley. A local gardener, Henry Merriweather, later obtained permission to take cuttings from the tree, and it was duly registered as the Bramley seedling. That's support, uh, supported by the heritage uh, fund, lottery fund. And uh, that's the story of this apple. That's the original Probably, tree. The original Bramley tree is still standing and produces fruit and takes pride of place in the private garden of 90-year-old Nancy Harrison, who has kindly invited Tony, Linda and Roger for a closer look. It is a wonderful tree. As you see, it's laden with fruit this year. Yeah. It's not been a good year. Really. Needs some rain on it now. Mm. Yeah. Do they make nice apple pies? Yes, I think they are the best cooking apple, and they're usually very large, very bright green, lovely apples, and they keep the pear right through the winter, and they're as good in March as they are when they're fresh. The fruits from those few pits planted some 200 years ago are responsible for a Bramley apple industry that is worth £50 million pounds a year. They say the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, and it's certainly true of our buyers who dream of... Uh, of course, unfortunately, in two, July 2016, it was reported that this original Bramley uh, apple tree is dying. The reason is told to be that this tree is now having a fungal disease. I mean, it's a kind of fungi is growing on it. It's practically the tree decays. Mm. 